Let's continue, and proceed with the design of the hot water supply. So, we were having a look at the solution for the cold water network, and we concluded that Revit, has found indeed a very adequate design, since for example it doesn't interfere with the sanitary network. And depth-wise, we can say that both systems are adequately placed, or at least regarding this first floor. Nevertheless, is true that if we moved this whole installation to the subsequent floors, namely, between the ceiling and this lab, we'll have to perform some modifications in order to avoid interferences with either the ceiling, or some other type of installations below this lab. So, let's have a look at the possible solutions for this network. Although let's not forget to configure some settings first. Such as the offset for both the main and the branch network, which of course, will be of minus 35 centimeters. It seems that this new system is adequate, furthermore, we can't really find any connections errors at all.